Hey everyone, in this tutorial, I'm gonna be covering the text analytics portion of the Azure AI services. So what this is gonna allow us to do is be able to do some pretty cool things with language. We're gonna be able to detect the language, uh, check out the sentiment, and we're gonna be able to recognize PII as well as do some cool healthcare analysis. It allows us to do quite a few other things and so we'll walk through that as well. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is do a pip install of the Azure AI text analytics. That's gonna give us the Python SDK to interact with our Azure AI services. Next thing is to have that Azure AI services URL and key uh, put into an EMV file and then load that bad boy up. And then lastly, we're gonna have a text analytics client that we're gonna use throughout the application. So the first one here that we're gonna run is called detect language. And what detect language is going to do is it's gonna be able to detect whether I passed in an English, a Spanish, a German, a Japanese, there's quite a few different languages and we're able to pass in an array of documents. So you can pass in different languages uh, based on the document. You can actually pass in mixed languages within the document and it will give you an overall, uh, it will give you the language that is most used in that sentence with a confidence score. So it may not necessarily be 100%. It'll say, hey, this is mainly English with a 85% likelihood. So to get started, we'll run the detect language. And so we ran the detect language. We can see the document one that we passed in is English and the second document that we passed in is Spanish. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. And we did that by calling text analytics detect language and getting the results back from that and just looping through it. The next thing that we can do is called sentiment analysis. What this is gonna allow us to do is look at different documents and determine whether or not they're good, neutral, or bad. And this could be really helpful if you're kind of paying attention to your uh, Google reviews or maybe social media, making sure that things are going your way. And so when we have that, what you can do is call, you can call the analyze sentiment version off of the, or function off of the text analytics client. Grab that, loop through it. If we run that, we can see that we're analyzing the sentiments. Hit, let's visualize what it looks like. I had the best day of my life, that's positive. I think I want some ice cream, that's pretty neutral. I didn't enjoy that at all, I want my money back. Yeah, that's probably a negative. So this is pretty neat to see how simple it is for us being able to interact with the Azure AI services and have it detect languages. Um, the next thing that we can do here is recognize entities. The idea here is it will look through the documents and pick out things such as companies, names, uh, dates, products, services, things of that nature. And we can do that by calling the uh, recognize entities on the data analytics client, getting those results and looping through them. So we ran that and we can see that it picked out quite a few entities. A uh, food company is an organization, Bartith, Bar Bartastic is an organization, annual is a date time. Uh, and here we got food as a product, service as a skill. So you can kind of see the idea of how it breaks down some of these key categories uh, within a sentence. The next thing that we can do is what's called linked entities. And the, the idea with linked entities is it'll pick out the entities within the sentence and then also show you where it got that information. So a lot of this will pull from Wikipedia. That's where it's getting its sources from. So let's see what that looks like. And you can get that by calling recognize linked entities on the text analytics client. All right, so it found a few entities within there. Uh, Microsoft was mentioned two times and it had a source of polling from Wikipedia. Bill Gates was mentioned in there and it had a Wikipedia article on him. And then it also had Harvard and a few other things. But yeah, there, there's, a, there's a Wikipedia article referenced uh, to all of those. The next one's pretty neat, recognizing PII. So this document has the user's name. It also has a social security number and a phone number. And what this will do is it'll go through and parse out the PII information. And then we have it kind of redacted just to kind of see how, how it works. And to get this, you would just call recognize PII entities. So here we go, We can here's the original document. We can see a redacted document where it's uh, putting asterisks for the for the person's name, for their social security number, their phone number. And then here, it, we're just kind of printing out the entities that it found. So a person's name got redacted, their loan date, their SSN, and their phone number. 
Extracting a key phrase can be uh, pretty useful if you're looking to summarize things or try to get a gist of uh, an overall document. So to be able to do that, you can call the extract key phrases on the text analytic client. And I'll give you a quick little rundown of that one. So here the uh, document was Redmond employees at Microsoft can be excited about the new coffee shop and will open on campus. And so the, some of the key phrases here that it's pulling out is a new coffee shop, Redmond, Washington, employees, Microsoft campus. So it's, it's able to pull out some of those key values. This next one's pretty awesome as well. So we're able to healthcare, we're able to analyze healthcare data. And so to do that, you would call begin analyze healthcare entities. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna go through these two documents here, and it's gonna pick out the, the medication, the dosage, and be able to uh, actually reference it to some actual sources. So once we get those results back, we're gonna loop through those documents and we're gonna check out the entities that it found, maybe their category, so whether that be medication, dosage, something like that, with a confidence score, and then also if it is a medication, uh, it may have a data source to it, and then also we'll kind of map the relationship between the dosage and the, the medication. This healthcare analyze one takes a little bit longer just because there's quite a bit going on, but here we can see that it found 100 milligrams as an entity, ibuprofen, uh, three milligrams, potassium, 10 milligrams, Zocor. And then we're able to see the relationships between them. So the dosage of 100 milligrams for ibuprofen. Yep, that looks about right. And dosage of three milligrams for potassium. Yep. So it was able to go through these documents and actually find the medication and the dosage that was mentioned. And again, so here ibuprofen was the medication, category medication name, and then it gives some sources of where that medication uh, was validated against. So that might be a pretty cool, useful, or might be a pretty useful uh, application if you're looking to do something in the medical field and handling uh, prescriptions. The last one is you can have this thing kind of do a lot of things all at once. So I just uh, wanted to show how to how you can kind of manage two actions, but I, you can kind of bundle these up and have it do quite a few actions all at once if you needed to. Uh, but for mine, I'm just going to show you how to do a recognize entities and an and and uh, sentiment analysis. So. Well, I'll just have two documents here. Food company has the best tacos. Bar company has the worst place, worst place to get a burger. And then we can call begin analyze actions and pass in an array of actions that we want the text analytics to do. So here we're gonna just say recognize the entities and analyze the sentiment. And once we get that back, we're gonna zip it up, not in the term of actually zipping up in a file, but just kind of later, turn it into a single array being able to then roll through that array and uh, print out whether it was a uh, entity that it recognized or a sentiment analysis. This one does take a little bit longer as well because of the multi-actions that are happening. But here we can see that the document text for food company has the best tacos, came in a result, it found company, which is an organization, tacos a product, and the overall sentiment was positive. So just by creating that Azure AI services, having that URL and key, you're able to analyze text in a lot of different ways, depending on your use case. I really thought the healthcare medication analytics was pretty cool, but being able to also pass in multiple actions at once could uh, help you kind of reduce the calls and aggregate some of that data. So that's pretty neat too. That's all there is for the text analytics. Uh, feel free to post any questions below. I'll answer them when I can. Thanks.